The ribbon is cut for the National Bioagro Defense Facility in Manhattan. The high security federal disease lab is set to fully launch in 2024. Our Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung attended Wednesday's ceremony. She shares what the lab will do. Well, I'm here just outside the lab, a state of the art 500,000 square foot facility made of steel and concrete. Officials say nothing's getting in and nothing's getting out. Hey. Hey. Top national and state leaders are celebrating the official opening of a high security research lab in Kansas. We are here today to celebrate strength, community, and our ability to impact the world through advanced animal disease research. The National Bioagro Defense Facility is a BSL-4 lab built to study everything from diseases threatening the nation's livestock to some of the most dangerous animal-borne diseases with no cure. If we had a significant animal health outbreak, it could be catastrophic to our country. Scientists will study diseases like the Nipah virus, a deadly bat-borne disease with outbreaks in Northeast Africa and Southeast Asia, and the Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever, a widespread disease transmitted by infected ticks. Are there any concerns that with some of these more high-risk diseases that you'll be studying that there could potentially be an outbreak in the community? There's always a risk, but what I will say is that this is the most secure biocontainment laboratory ever built in the United States. The reassurance comes from the fact that people are working every single day to create the vaccines, to create the ability of the surveillance, to be able to create the diagnostic lab a capacity, to be able to identify problems. The goal, to protect the nation and its food supply. The work that will be done here will be critical in protecting the country and the world against biological, agricultural, and zoonotic diseases. Decades from now, people will look back and see this facility is here changing the nature of our state and protecting and in growing the economy of our country. And the lab is expected to be fully operational in late 2024. For now, reporting in Manhattan, I'm Rebecca Chung.